Hello and welcome, Paul here, and I am playing Bannerlord. Now, Britannia is actually doing pretty well, which is surprising. We're taking a lot of castles away from the Kazate. We're weakening them slowly. They haven't really counterattacked us yet, which has me worried. Like, I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they're at war with multiple factions. Maybe that's what the issue is here. Kingdom... Britannia, Vlandia, Western Empire, that's that's the reason. They're at war with everyone. Fair enough. So before we get into this siege, in the last video when I was attacking Sanala and I was standing on top of the siege tower, swinging my axe away, getting lots of kills, we caused the enemy to run away, and I did mention this briefly. There is a perk that you get at 150 that's causes 30% more morale loss, called Eviscerator. So the choice is Shield Breaker, 10% more damage against shields, which is very nice, or two-handed weapons cause 30% more morale loss. I'm personally going to go with Eviscerator, get the morale loss increase, because the way I see it, if you're causing people to turn and flee in terror, you're essentially taking them out of the fight. I mean, you may as well be killing them, you know what I mean? Like, it is very, very important. So 30% seems like quite a lot. Anyway, I'm getting to the point now where I'm it's slow to level. And... I guess it doesn't really matter how many skill... Like, it's all done on skill points. If I were to pick up, like, a different weapon and start working some other skills, this would probably go quicker. Maybe if I switch to Quartermaster, I'll get my Scout skill up. Get a bunch of skills in that. But my point is, is that I'm reaching the cap on a bunch of things here. My Riding skill is going to cap out soon. My... I mean, I've got a bunch of Focus Points in these. But my One-Hander's got plenty of room. My Pole Arm is pretty much capped out. My Two-Hander is going to cap out soon. I've still got room for a Focus Point that would probably push it up to here. But, the reason why I bring all this up is because my smithing skill is at 35, and it's pretty much capped, or close to. Now, I would like to go up in my smithing sk skill all the way up to 275 to get legendary smith, so I can make some customized weapons, which would be pretty cool. Maybe I'm too late to do that now, I don't know. Maybe I invested my skill points wrongly. But, um... We will see. Like, Steward is a pretty good one to have, because honestly, this goes up passively. I don't have an Engineer in my army, so maybe having the Engineer skill wouldn't be a bad thing to do either, just to get the skill points. Speed of building castles and walls increased by 10%. Speed of building castles? Does that mean castle upgrades? That's an interesting... Like, I understand upgrading uh, walls and stuff, but building actual castles? That can't be right. So my question is here. Do I swap? Let's have a look. Do I go to my kingdom page? Do I change it from quartermaster to engineer? And see if I get more engineer skill points as we lay siege. Or do I go with the scouting? Get my scouting up to get more skill points. I'm probably going to have to start switching up my weapons just to get skill points and, uh, you know, get my level up a bit. But we'll see. I can't keep using this two-hander. The two-hander is amazing, but I need to vary my weapons a little bit. Maybe I'll grab like a shield and a one-hander and get that leveled up a bit. But here we go, another siege. No siege towers as far as I can tell. We're just going to go up ladders, which is fine with me. I wonder, is it possible for me to just like... 
get this up quick before they can even miss miss me now they're going to reinforce this position no too late they're already there No chance, no chance whatsoever. That was disappointing, but um, it seems my troops got up anyway. Maybe I should have just waited. In fact, is anyone even defending this place? The front, front gate is open already. Do we not get the inside gate? Nope. Okay, now they're back. Okay, well, that was a bit of a disaster, but... It seems like we're going to have this anyway. I didn't get a single kill. As long as I don't lose too many troops, I don't mind. Oh my god, the red. Yeah, we're overwhelming them slowly, which is good. The flooding in from both sides. Front gates open. They still managed to shut it. I don't know if anyone ever plays, uh, you know, multiplayer video games where you have to like hit a button to open the door. Left 4 Dead's a good example. When you get to the safe room, you hit E to close the door. You always have that. You're always running up. Someone's already in there. Just as you get there, they shut the door on you. Or like you both hit E at the same time to like open the door, but it closes immediately. I feel like maybe that's what's happening. Honestly, don't know. I'm just guessing, but anyway, we've got another castle. I have three castles to my name, by the way, at the moment, which is pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. There we go. Another point in stewardship. Let me go ahead and change my role to scout. Even though this fish fella is meant to be my scout. Surgeon. I st I'm still not entirely sure if they need to be in my group in order for this to work, but... Like his trade skill doesn't even go at running a caravan, which is kind of a bummer. But let's make him the quartermaster. Dorian, let's make you the engineer. Why not? Let's see if that helps. So how are we looking? Did any of my troops get any experience? One did. Yeah, as you can see, we're taking a lot of territory here. I have three castles in my name, which is good. They're not making me much money, though bad I'm hurting my quest is still bugged but that that's bound to happen the good thing is these city these castles at least are all in the positive are all growing, which is good. Food isn't an issue yet. This one's probably the best because it's plus 11 food. The biggest issue I found with any of these castles is that they run out of food. That always seems to be the problem. I'm also very close to getting clan tier five. When I get that, I'll be able to get another companion. The only bad thing at the moment for myself is that I'm playing an original game, i.e. I made this campaign on day one when Bannerlord released. There has been a lot of patches since then and a lot of balancing to companions. Now I have those fairly weak and unbalanced 
companions from day one. So I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm not going to get any amazing companions that can do stuff. So all I can do is get companions, hopefully just make them fighters. They're not going to have any useful skills otherwise. The only ones will be ones in medicine and scouting. Did he damage the wall? He did. He's trying to damage the wall. Interesting. He did damage the wall. Huh. There's so many, so many of them up there. I, I kind of like watching this. I haven't seen this happen too much. But he's not really focused on who he's trying to target, you know? Like he's trying to get two of them up at the same time. Oh, we destroyed it. Another one got instantly rebuilt. Oh, this is a mini game, but it, it's a pretty cool one to see. So do you, that's almost built, but he wants to start the fight. Okay, let's go. We've got a siege tower. I might be able to do what I did in the last siege tower, just get up to the top and swing away. The only thing that took me down was all the archers. But maybe we can handle them this time. Let's see what happens. Can I change this? I can. Okay, well, I don't think there's anything I really need to change, so. Let's move the siege tower to the left hand side where we've got this. Although that might be facing over there. Let's see what happens. Kind of tricky to figure out where you've got to be to... Who gets to aim it and fire it and all that, I don't know. Anyway, I'll worry about that later. Where's the siege tower gonna go? Is it gonna go there? Oh, it's looking like it's gonna go around here somewhere? There, maybe? Push! Yeah, right there. Wait. No, I don't know. Maybe it will go. Normally there's been like, uh, you know, like, kind of like a gap in the wall. So stupid, we just stand in there taking hits. I'm going to need every bit of health later on. The ram is still in good nick, so we might be able to get a ram up. We got ladders on this side. No one in my arm has died yet, which is good. This is a slow ascent. This is all the pill, I guess. Treb has been fired into the city.
I wonder if this is going to turn or is this going to go... It's going to go there, isn't it? Interesting. Their catapults don't seem to be firing back too often. Or at all. I don't think I've seen them go yet. A lot of archers here. A lot of archers on this wall above me. Come on, we've almost got it. That looks like it's going to fall backwards. This is actually pretty bad. We leave our backs exposed to them over there just a little. Imagine if we made the sides a little bit bigger. Oh god, they actually fight us on here. They're already fleeing. Is that from my axe? Oh god, I'm almost, almost running off the edge here. This is dangerous, Paul. Back up. Come on, lads. We can take this. Keep fighting. Push. There we go. We're in. The arches everywhere. Keep going, Paul. Oh god, this guy's tanky. An archer. Plain old archer. What, where are we getting bottlenecked? I don't know, I just see a lot of reinforcements incoming. Oh god, this is bad. This is bad. I'm getting shot from above. You scumbags. Oh, was that aimed at me? Oh, arrow to the head. Well, we're in at least. A lot of blood is going to be spilt to take this. But we're in. I'm going to speed up time, hopefully, speed this up. Seems like we're destroying them at the moment, which is good news. Very good news indeed. Look at that. Yes. Perfect. It's over. We're just going to find the stragglers that are hiding on the battlements. I took some nasty arrow shots, but hey, I was trying to clear the way, help a little bit, maybe save a life or two, which I think I accomplished. Another Vlandian knight has died. Wait, did she die die? Is she dead? No. I need to check that out. I'm assuming she's just unconscious, but that says she's dead. Okay, continue. No, she's still alive. 
but knocked unconscious, I guess. Everyone's voting for me to take stuff, and I haven't quite figured out why yet. I just been given a city. What is going on? You leave the army. So in the spam, maybe it's just because I had no territories and they're playing catch up because every lord has multiple. I've been given a city. Maybe it's because I got my relationship with everyone. I mean, I've been working on doing that as well. So I've just been given multiple cities and castles in the desert. Look at that. Manage this town. This is a fully upgraded place. The only problem is it's one that's going to bleed. Because prosperity is down and food is down. That's because we're at war. Probably one of the best ways for me to fix this is to... I need to get my prosperity back up. Food shortages will affect that. We're not getting much food. Okay, maybe keep that on irrigation. All right. This is all very odd. My cash is going down as well. So I think what I need to do is get another caravan on the go, see if that can make me a bit of cash. So, for the moment, at least in the beta branch, these Jareeds, some of the best javelins in the game, but the smithing, they are currently the best thing to break down, to smelt. You make a lot of experience from it, but look at the price, 166000 it's not cheap. It's not a cheap investment to mess with. But I figured I'd mention that just in case anyone ever wants to try it. Although that might be patched by the time you get to it, I don't know. So we're taking a lot of this desert. I hope we get Ascar soon. Lock down this area. I mean, we're taking a nice bit of the desert here. I'm, I'm liking that. I don't know how I feel about I'm being stuck over here in the desert, but... Maybe it's because I was killing people of the Empire. They realized how serious my character is. I honestly have no clue. I need him to join me. So. My villages are probably hurting because of the war. One of the best things I can do though is to go around this area and basically hunt down every single looter that I come across. Kill the bandits so my villages will flourish. Make sure there's no enemy lords coming over the fight. Yeah, that might work. Anyway, I'm going to give it a go. Do me again next time.